On September 11, 2001, the labor movement lost some of its heroes. Eleven years later, the machinists remember their lives and their dedication. It's about respect and dignity, on the job and in life, for all the workers of the world. From iron workers to machinists to train operators to EMTs to firefighters, union members, workers of that city did more than their jobs on that day. It's fitting that today the machinists are meeting right across the street from the 100 Workers Monument, a permanent reminder that our cities were built on the toil of everyday workers. It's the reason why labor fights each and every day. When we fail to stand up for our own rights here, workers somewhere else get hammered. And when workers far away in India or China are exploited, well, we're exploited too. We struggled for it. We fought for it. We gave our blood, sweat, and tears for it. And I'll be damned if we let anybody take it away from us. The machinists in this room realize what's at stake in this presidential election. Repercussions that will be felt not just at home, but around the globe. This convention is about you going home and making sure during the next month and a half you're motivating everybody in your community so that we get the vision for the future that includes you at the front of the line and not you at the back of the line. Are you ready to fight for the future? Are you in this? Are you in it for the long haul? The answer in this room is a resounding yes. Every day the workers of the world give their lives just by doing what's right. That's not something labor will ever forget. And we will never, ever, ever give up or back down because this is our countries. We build them. We defend them. We wake them up every morning. We make them run. We put them to sleep every night. It is time, it is time that we took them back for the workers of our country. In Toronto, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky with the Machinist News Network.